All right, I feel like Mr. Carlson today. I'm going to be using a bunch of really old test equipment. Um, so I was fixing old test equipment, and it was uh, tube-based, and I was replacing some capacitors, and they were 150-volt capacitors. And so I thought, oh, I, I'll test them on my, uh, on my uh, LCR bridge. Uh, because this thing knows how to test old capacitors really well. I mean, I obviously have a capacitor tester. I'll show that. But uh, uh, this thing can test electrolytics better than normal little 5-volt battery-powered uh, LCR meters. Um, and the reason that it can do that is it can do it at, uh, at voltage. Not only can it test the capacitance value in a nice uh, precision bridge, um, but it can test the leakage current uh, at, at voltage. So uh, I pulled this thing out. I, I've shot a bunch of videos about this thing before, but uh, I don't think it actually showed me actually using it to, uh, to actually do anything. And so uh, the cool thing about it is it, it's a complete uh, bridge. Um, it can do uh, capacitance and inductance and resistance. It can also do inductor windings or transformer windings, N1 over N2 windings. Um, it can do capacitor quality tests, um, and then it can do a really bizarre thing. It can measure uh, insulation resistance, believe it or not. You can put uh, uh, something on these two terminals, and it puts a super high voltage on them and, um, and measures the leakage between them and, and says if your insulators are any good or any bad. So that's, that's kind of uh, good and kind of scary at the same time. Um, there's this uh, big light here in the center. And uh, if you have it on the capacitor test, um, you uh, connect the, uh, these two terminals into the, uh, into the bridge of the uh, circuit. And then you use the knobs, uh, range knob and fine tune knob to, to find a equal uh, capacitor value on the other side. And you know, you know how much this capacitance value was. So you can do that. And the way that you do that is to balance the bridge. Uh, most bridges have um, a analog meter in the center. They have, they have a plus and minus analog meter in the center, so you can measure the, the, the in, uh, uh, current difference between the two legs of the bridge. Uh, this one has a, a 65 uh, magic eye tube. Uh, that's kind of a cool thing for, for this application. And uh, you, uh, you adjust your, 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 your uh, uh, coarse setting, and then you adjust your fine setting so that the uh, the eye opens up, and I don't think you're seeing that well. So let me uh, let me change the camera so you can see the eye. All right, uh, that's better. So this is the eye here, and if you uh, adjust the uh, uh, knob down here, I'm, I'm turning this knob here, and if you adjust that knob, you'll see that the eye starts to open up, and you need to get it at its widest value. And so here I'm. Adjusting it, and I'm kind of getting the widest value right about there, and I'm going to call that uh, 26. So I'm going to say that capacitor is 26 microfarads. Um, so that's with no voltage applied or some minimal voltage applied. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you can really see it in the dark now. Okay, so let me <laughs> let me readjust the camera again. Okay, so that was on the uh, uh, non-charged position. Now we can test this thing at voltage, and we're going to do that by looking at this meter. And I put this on DC volts, and then I can adjust uh, the voltage I want on that capacitor before I connect it. So I'm going to put 100 volts on that, so I'm going to adjust this right up to 100. And uh, so now it's measuring 100. And then when I go here, uh, this light lights up saying, a danger, danger, don't touch over here. Um, and then now it's putting 100 volts on that uh, on that capacitor, and then I can go back and I can uh, adjust the eye again, and uh, it looked the same as before. It didn't really matter that it was at at the voltage or not for this particular test, but I can uh, I can see it's still 26 microfarads. Now the cool thing also is this knob here, 
it says, okay, now that it's in circuit and everything, we can test the leakage of the capacitor and we can, we can uh, move this little, uh, this knob here to 25. And now this meter now is 25 milliamps full scale. And that says zero. So there's, there's less than, less than 25 milliamps and way less than one milliamp anyway. So now we can go to the uh, five milliamp scale. So now we're get, looking a little finer at the leakage. So we go to five. So now it's zero to five milliamps of leakage. It's still, it's still reading zero. And now I'm going to go to one milliamp full scale and I go to one milliamp and I see just the slightest, slightest little change in the uh, meter deflection, but hardly anything at all. So this, this capacitor is very good. So, um, that's not why I decided to shoot the video, but it makes for a nice introduction. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this off and, um, let's remove the capacitor. And before I remove the capacitor, I'm going to uh, bleed the voltage off of it so I don't get shocked. There we go. All right. So now um, I was thinking, okay, that's cool. Um, and I noticed that I was hardly turning the knob at all on this voltage control. And uh, you can see that the voltage here uh, can go up and go to 200. It can go to 300, it can go to 400, it can go to 500 as full scale. And then I looked and I said, oh my God, I'm only, <laughs> I'm only about 25% of the way around this voltage control. This says zero and max. And I'm only about 20% of the way around and I'm already at 500 volts. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, so I said, well, I wonder how far this thing really goes. I'd never really noticed that before. So that's when I decided to shoot the video. So how far does this thing go? Uh, so let's, um, let's put a voltmeter across here. And then I thought, well, what voltmeter? If I'm at 20%, I'm at 500 volts. Um, I might blow up a lot of voltmeters. Um, so I uh, pulled out my, my, my little DVM here and it says, you know, it's good to cat 5, 600, cat 3, 1,000, but it doesn't really say max voltage it'll measure. Uh, so then I said, okay. Uh, well, you know, what about my nice fancy meters up here? You know, what can they do? And so right alongside the uh, uh, input, it says 1000 volts max. So right on the front, it's got this little zappy sign of electricity and it says, you know, don't put more than a thousand volts in here. And this one says the same thing. The Keithley says, don't put more than a thousand volts in here. Oh no, oh, no. Um, how am I gonna measure this thing? Um, then I remembered, another piece of ancient technology. And I thought, well, that'll be great. That'll work really good. And that's this thing over here. So uh, let me, let me readjust things. All right. I've got this old triplet meter. It's a uh, 630 and it has a 6,000 volt range. So either 6,000 volts DC or 6,000 volts AC. So right from the get go, 6,000 volts. I thought, great, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to uh, be more than that. So the, the way you use this thing is, um, there's a scale here. Uh, normally you put the voltage in over here. Uh, oops, can't see it down here. There's a, a common and uh, V volt ohms and amps go into that one there. Um, and it's, uh, it'll read 1200. So it'll be 1200, um, 1200 volts full scale if you have it here. But then there's this magic place over here. If you take your, take your red wire and put it over here into that hole there, now it's zero to 6,000 volts full scale. So there's a high voltage divider inside the uh, meter here. So cool. Exactly what I need. So let me uh, put some wires here on the binding post so I can use my little grabbers. Uh, put one there. And I'll put one here. Okay. 
So uh, red wire, red wire goes to the plus. Oops, jeez. And uh, black wire goes to the minus. And uh, okay, so now we're gonna uh, turn this on charge. Oop, charged. So the danger, danger light came on, and we can go over there. So I'm gonna set this to 100 volts. And yep, it's starting to come up. So 400, 400 volts is there. We're measuring 400. All right, let's keep going. 500. Let's keep going and going and going. Now we're halfway. So we're halfway. How much is the voltage now? Six. Uh, that's 6,000. That's 1,000. We're up at around oh, 800 volts, something like that. And I keep going. Oh, it's slowing down. It's not going up any farther. Whew. So it's it's staying below a thousand volts uh, on this scale. So let's uh, that's good. So we can come back over here. We can go to the 1200 volt scale. So we'll move it over here. Careful not to not to zap myself. All right. So let's move it up again. Uh, it's moving up faster now. Okay, here's 200 volts, and we're going to be reading that bottom scale too. And then 400 or here at four. Here's the 500 and this, this meter runs out. So now we're here at, oh geez, we're above 500 now. That's about 500 there. Okay, so let's keep going. 700, 800, 900. No, yosh. Okay, now I'm maxed out. And what are we measuring? We're measuring around 910 volts. Yikes. So don't touch that. I don't know how much current it is, but uh, yeah, 910 volts. So I am able to test a capacitor at 910 volts. I don't know when I'm going to be able to, when I'm going to need to do that. I've seen, I've worked on, oh, that's my timer going off. Nothing, nothing drastic, sorry. Just my 30 minute, 30 minute timer going off. Um, so um, I've, I've worked on circuits that had 400 volt capacitors in them, but I can't, can't say I've worked on anything higher. 600 volt capacitors, oh, maybe, maybe in a ham radio or something. I don't remember now, I don't think so. I think 400 is like the highest I've been around. So super, super dangerous. Um, and uh, Anyway, cool old meter. I think I've uh, mentioned this meter maybe once before. The uh, uh, meter came from the Lawrence Livermore, uh, let's see, Lawrence Radiation Lab. Yeah, the Lawrence, Lawrence Radiation Lab, the American Energy Commission. So Atomic Energy Commission. <laughs> yeah, Atomic Energy Commission, that's it. Lawrence Radiation Lab Atomic Energy Commission. That's where this came out of. So used in built bombs. Cool. In case you were wondering, yes, even the fancy meter measures it at 26 microfarads.